you don't know why I feel offended I just told you but it's not for you to understand exactly you don't know why I feel offended because you're not a part of the culture that it's supposed to be offensive to what's up you guys it's the girl amber back again with another video and i have a very special guest she's no longer a guest she's always here it's trini hey y'all i'm back hey she's back pretty period poop black beautiful poop <laughs> so um by that thumbnail and that title you already see what's about to go down we're about to do a story time it's mainly like my story it is our story but it's like i just i'm just things. here for moral support thank you up. thank you because beautiful black queens black people this is what this video is about Together. so one day i was on twitter and i was just you know scrolling down along my little timeline and then there's this girl was she in drill team that's what i want to ask i don't remember if she was or not i, I feel like she was like around though Maybe she hung out with somebody who was on drill. I don't know, but this girl who went to our high school, I won't say her name, but I will be inserting screenshots, so uh, there's that. She just decided that she's gonna, she's Mexican. No, she's not Mexican. She's Hispanic. She's, he, no, she's, she's Latina. Latina. Latinx. 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 She identifies as a Latina. And, baby i'm just thinking about it all playing back in my head and i'm getting pissed off all again <laughs> so anyway she was on twitter and um she identifies as latina and she thought it was okay to continue to say the n-word like she all down her timeline it's like nigga this nigga that nigga. you cannot say nigga that i i know this is story time but i'm getting mad right now you cannot say nigga if you are not black why are you saying nigga why do you want to use the word so bad for what it's derogatory we shouldn't even say it but we do because it was for us and now we're gonna turn you want it for what was meant for evil turned around for good. And it's just like, you don't know what the fuck. Oof, I don't <laughs> you don't know what, like, our ancestors really had to go through. Being called that name, whipped, putting salt inside the webs. And letting it sizzle. Like, I'm getting hot because I'm just so mad. Anyway, so we were on, I was on Twitter. And I just keep seeing, I, I noticed that she did it before and I didn't say anything. And that's where I was wrong. The first time I seen it, I should have said something. And so days go by and I see her tweeting on my timeline again and she's still saying the word, the N word. And so I was like, what? I have the DMs. Oh, I totally forgot God. about that. Ooh. Ooh, if you block, yes, they're still here. Mm. I'm about to read it every day, e everything. What? I can't even, I get on camera, it's like I'm dyslexic, I don't know. So I DMed her, I was like, hey, I just wanted to reach out to express how offended I am as a black woman to see you con Ooh, I said her name. I blocked it's her out. Okay, it is to out. see you constantly use the word nigga. It should never, in all caps, uh, come out of your mouth or getting tweeted from you ever. I am highly disappointed and highly de offended. I really thought you were better than that or maybe you just don't know, but it's 2022, how could you not? So for the love of God, in all caps, please stop saying nigga, you are not black, thank you. She responds back, girl it ain't, Girl, I ain't using it in a demeaning way. Did I say you were? Right. You shouldn't be using it. You shouldn't period. be saying it at all. Right. So then she goes, so IDK, why you feel offended? You don't know why I feel offended. I just told you, but it's not for you to understand. Exactly. You don't know why I feel offended because you're not a part of the culture that it's supposed to be offensive to. Thank you. That's, That's like, why she's here. That's thank like, you. If I was to call her a beaner and be like, I don't know why a you're offended. A webback or something. Why yeah. are you offended? I, I wouldn't know why you're offended because that's not something that was created to offend me. Right. Or if I would if I just automatically assumed your dad was a gardener. That's racist. Right. So then she was like, this been me for decades. Anybody that fucks with me has no problem with it. That's the thing. I don't fuck with you. So I have a problem with it. And even if they are black and they fuck with you, they, I don't care. I, I have a lot of Hispanic, Mexican, Latina, whatever you want to be called. I have lots of those people that I know. I wouldn't call them friends, but I know a lot of them. I went to school with a majority of them. And no. And then like for her to be like, this is no. just me. That's like when people say like, oh, that's just how I am. You cool with just being like that no, your whole life? Like you're, you cool with just being uneducated and ignorant your whole life? Ignorant. Your like, whole, and she has a son by a black man. 
this girl has always just wanted to be black. She so is bad. so enamored by black culture. And it's like, girl, you can be a fan of us. Like, just I, in case she watches, you gotta say what enamor mean. You know, she might not know. She's so, um, she admires black culture so much. And she's like so desperate to be a part, just Very like most desperate. people are. Like, we, black girls literally are the blueprint, period. Period. So, Hairstyles, makeup, nails, looks, nails, everything. Like, the hearts in the head with the corner. Hello. You don't even know where that came from. That Especially was black gay men. Okay. Exactly. They will get exactly. you together. She period. will have cornrows, everything, not even knowing that that's how slaves used to put maps in their head through braids when they were going through underground railroads trying to escape from slavery. But to her, it's just a hairstyle. It's just a, no, it's just a hairstyle. So, it's just a word. Why are you offended? Yeah, they don't know. Why they don't even offended? know what they're copying. They just copy us. So she's always dated black guys. And now she has a black son. And this is the type of stuff that you think is okay. So when somebody call him a nigga. That's exactly what I was like. So if somebody call him a nigga, what you gonna say? You are? <laughs> like what are you, I would really want to know what she would say. And then to me, oh, that's a whole different conversation. Woo, yeah. child, like for part two. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I replied back and I was like, wow. And she said, sorry if you feel offended, not my intentions, question mark. See, that's where I got pissed off. Because if she would have said, sorry, I, sorry that you feel offended, not even sorry that you feel offended, because that's not an apology. It's not. You're apologizing for, like, you're not apologizing. Right. <laughs> An apology is, I'm sorry that I did this. Period. Right. I did not understand Means. how it affected black people. Moving forward, I won't. But then again, why do you not? Why do you not understand that in 2022? I you date all these black men and none of them say anything about it. Well, they're all. Awesome. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> again, that's another video. So I replied back. Mind me, we're going back and forth at this point. <laughs> I'm like, I'm offended because you're using a derogatory word intended to hurt black people. You would never understand because you are not black in bold all caps have you ever been kicked out of a store for being black have you ever been arrested because you are black no other reason has a cop ever called you a stupid nigga or a nigger no you have just driving while black leaving your house is scary yes is a risk so i'm offended then she replies back was like um yes i've been kicked out of places for being brown amber The, what kills me is the ignorance. No, it's not even that. It's this like intense desire to be oppressed. So you want to be oppressed so bad. Why do y'all want to be oppressed so bad? Like black people literally since the beginning of time have been looked at as the lowest of low. We're just cooler than you guys. We set right. all the trends. We're more popping than you. We are all the trend. Right, literally. <laughs> and so now all of a sudden you want to overlook everything we have to overcome as a race just so you could fit still in. Still trying cool. to overcome. We're not even right. there yet. Not even halfway there. Like they just took Aunt Jemima off the box. <laughs> like, we are still fighting. And it's like you want to be a part of that oh. so bad. Why? And not to discredit like the things that minority people go through like brown people. I do not feel like any other race has been through what we have been through and don't get me wrong like they have been through a lot like you know with the um like um when they were putting the kids in the cages oh that's like that. terrible like, that is horrible don't get no, me wrong yes but why are y'all fighting so bad to have that now that y'all have it now it's a problem like let me understand i don't know the oppression olympics y'all <laughs> <laughs> not the olympics okay where was i at ah i lost my place Oh, I said, just because you, okay. <laughs> At first started going up, y'all. First of all, I was in Hawaii when this was happening. I'm on the beach like, ooh, scrolling. <laughs> Look at her life, okay? So what I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna say, I'm like, whatever. It's your if channel. If you're offended, sorry, I'm grown. This is my channel. If you don't like how I talk, bye. Yeah. So this is what I said, just because you get black penis, does not give you the right to say nigga. Child, she can have more black than me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is going on? She, re she replies back and she's like, no, nah, I actually haven't had peen in a minute. I done dealt with oppression. Like I said, the oppression Olympics. 
I would like to know how she dealt with the birth. Not saying that she did, because I don't know. But I would like to know what the hell she went through. And even if you have dealt with oppression, you haven't dealt with the oppression that gives you the right to say nigga. <laughs> I just don't. And so she, okay, that part is stupid. And she said, I never felt the need to make anybody feel wrong. This one, she started being stupid. Cause I said, I clearly stated for being black. <laughs> you I need little education being system. Brown. You clearly can't read. How did you graduate? Oh, because yeah. You okay. need was just giving out the poem. Hello? All you gotta do is be friends with one security guard and y'all know which one I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways dealt with and dealing with are two different things that's what i replied back and said she said i didn't be she said verbatim i done been i done been i done been shot at being with my friends being with your black friends that that's the whole thing you, you were not be shot at because it's just you. Right. You were shot at because you choose to hang out with gangbangers. You choose to hang out with wannabe uni thugs. Ain't nobody scared of them niggas. Nobody. You're trying so hard. To you want to be a thug so bad. Like right. you want to be a gangbanger. She like, does. She does. You want to get shot. And because that's what they see black people as. Like tough thugs, that's hoodlums. Terrible. And you want to be that. Like that's what you feel like the essence of being black is. And it's so you try to embody that and then you feel like it gives you the right to say nigga. And it don't. So I replied back and was like, exactly, being with. Like, is she stupid? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She said, if you feel some type of way, I see you unfollow me, so go about your day. No one's trying to offend you. But you did. I don't, you can't say that I'm not trying to offend you. You offended me. And, and not I only to, Amber. It was right, like the it was, whole school. Like, what's coming at her? The whole BSU, oh y'all. The whole black student union at uni was telling her like, bro, you're dead wrong. She literally told somebody else. She was, oh like, my she was like, okay, my nigga. He, I gotta find that tweet. Please he basically out, was like quoting something that she said and was like, but you're wrong. And then she was like, okay, my nigga. He's and then black. other black girls from the school too were telling her like, bro, oh, like Brianna. Yeah, yeah, they were like, bro, we love you, but this is not a fight that you're gonna. That's why I was like. so offended and so like hurt. Like I was hurt because like I actually kind of I fucking her. I did too. She like was she cool. was cool. Other than, other than this, I did not know this this her. Like yeah. because the other people, the other Latinas that she hangs out with, like um I don't know if you know. Mm -hmm. They I don't know. One of them was in my mom's. <laughs> But I hung out with a specific class of people, and that was it. One Hispanic, <laughs> two Nessa. Oh, oh yeah, two. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, they weren't like that. Like they were very respectful. Like I don't understand. Like. Because her thing was like, I ain't get invited. I get invited to the cookout. Like that's her type. But it's like that doesn't mean you get. You forced your way in. <laughs> Who invited you? Cause you wasn't on the list, sis. Right. Sorry. These black boys she be messing with. And they her. are. First of all, they was all. Okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna. <laughs> right. Um. Why do I keep losing my place? Okay. What did I say? Oh, and she was like. Oh, I said, you will never understand what it feels like to be a black woman ever. She said, I see where you stand and I get it. We both dealt with being racially profiled at some point. I'm not fair skinned. What are you talking about? Did I ever say you were? Oh. What are you talking about? What now, are we talking about? That would have blew me. As a dark skinned black woman, that would have blew me. Like, what are we, what okay. did that happen? Am I stupid? Is it me? That, oof, that right there. Why are you? You want to compare your skin to our black skin? I go off. I'm not fair skin. Go off. Go off. Cause you you want to do you want to pull that card? Like that was see really her reply. Y'all want to see? That's what she said. Let me because <laughs> her name is. Let me, I'm gonna ask some screenshots. Yeah, put some screenshots. Don't even try. I said I don't care that you didn't try to offend me. At the end of the day, you did. Please, for the love of God, are you serious? Cause I was. <laughs> It, she has marbles for her brain. I don't know. I she and then she goes, "That's how you feel. Take it how you want to." You just said you were sorry, though. 
so obviously you're not. And then what kills me, Amber ain't even got to this part yet. She goes on her timeline and starts dragging Amber. Her, her, black, fleet, her black features. You want to be black so bad until- She called me a clown and this is when my hair was red. Like she was like, oh, you're big, whatever. She was saying, I don't know. Did what she, she was say saying. my nose? Like you want to drag black my people. forehead? She was talking about my forehead. She was talking about my nose. That's what she said. My forehead and my nose. And it's just like, okay, I'm sorry that I was born this way. I'm sorry that you weren't born this way. That you want the you want these things. That's exactly. why you went and had a son exactly. with a black guy to finally have something black a part of you. Like no, just just because he he came out of you does not mean you have any black in you. You don't. Yeah. One thing in you was you. Oh my god. Um, so I said, please go to hell. She said, I didn't single you out. I've been singled out before. What are we talking about? Are we talking about being singled out? Or are we talking about why you shouldn't say nigga? Why am I have to give you an explanation of why you shouldn't say nigga? Don't say it. The thing is, you're fighting tooth and nail. You're advocating so hard for yourself so to be hard. able to say a word. Cool. Freedom of speech. Say what you want to say. But when Say it, but know that it comes with consequences. Oh, definitely. Go don't. ahead. You, I you want you to go say it in front of a mass group of black please people. Please do. And when they all come for you. And beat your ass. Fight for your right to say it. You want to say it so bad? Go I'm ahead. I'm fair skinned. Go ahead and say it. My son is black. Do y'all fight that hard when we getting killed in the streets? Do y'all fight that hard when we You want to be black so bad. Right. Have you been to a rally? Right. Y'all want to fight so hard to say nigga, are y'all fighting when we get discriminated against for jobs because of our hair, because of our skin, because of our name? If our name is too ghetto on the application, your thing is in the trash. Are you fighting that hard for that? Are you fighting that hard when black women are four times more likely to die doing childbirth? You better preach. Are you fighting that hard? Are no. you? How was your labor and delivery experience? I'm sure it went swell. Until they seen that baby had an ounce of black blood in it, they probably left you right in that room. Whew, child. So that was the end of those DMs. But I, there are so many tweets that went on and I'm so like irritated that I cannot find she them. Gonna, look, we gonna find them and she gonna put them in here for y'all. But, but I just, I literally cannot believe that that happened. Like I was so baffled. Like when it was happening, like I was getting so mad. Like, you know, I have epilepsy and I had to like calm myself down. I had to like do what I do with my THC, you know? And it's just like, <laughs> Is this real? It didn't seem real. And she's literally fighting to say a word. She's fighting 12, why? Black, 12 black people telling her that it's not cool for her to say nigga. Like, why do you want to say nigga? So, and then, oh my gosh, she had the audacity <laughs> to tell me because I said that she's Hispanic. I said, why do, I said, why do Mexicans or why do Hispanics? I don't remember which one I said. Feel the need to say nigga. You have no right. She's gonna say, it's, um, Chicana studies. Or Chicana something. studies, they say that saying, his, calling someone Hispanic is worse than saying the, it, it, it's worse than calling someone a nigga. <laughs> and what? What? <laughs> what you did you hear, go to? Do you ever hear rappers in songs promoting this word, oh my Hispanic, oh my Hispanic, oh my Hispanic, my Hispanic, my Hispanic, my Hispanic, I was out on my, my Hispanic. No, like no, no. y'all stuff is not even commercial. It's not worldwide. You're it, not that popping, sweetie. You're, you're not. not. It's okay. Mm. Y'all are amazing people, but if we're you gonna are. rank, which one is worse? I want you guys to comment down below which word is worse. And I know for a fact that that's not true because one of my friends, shout out to you, Leslie, my friend from elementary school, she identifies as either, I don't remember. I think she identifies as Hispanic. And she was just saying, she gave me, she said, it's like calling a Chinese person an Asian. That's nowhere near. That's nowhere near. Or like, yeah, like calling a, a Filipino Chinese. It's like, you have to be open to learning other cultures because if I don't know, then I don't know. Then right, you just, and you it's teach okay me. not to know. And I didn't know. Exactly. That's why I asked her. I literally did not know and she, oh, let me find, let me pull up those DMs. Yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's 90 degrees, I just seen the weather. Oh, child. <laughs> um, yeah, she, 
educated me and I was very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Dang, what's her Instagram? She be changing her Instagram so much. Okay, I can't find it. But basically she was just telling me that it's not nowhere near the same level and that the girl that I'm talking about is dumb as hell. And she actually called her a um, bincha something. This is pretty Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I feel like just even in general, like, this is a person that you have to be a bigger person with because that girl, she is Very lost. Ignorant. Like, mentally, she's not here. She just had a child. Like, she's about to raise another person. And she's on with her same mom. Yeah, and it's like people like that you can't argue with them because they're they don't see anything that they're doing wrong They're messed up in the head and they're choosing to stay that way and now she has a child that she's gonna raise with her same mentality and It's pretty sucky. It's really sad. Yeah, one of her co-workers actually reached out to me on Twitter and was thanking me for doing what I did and checking her she was like she would be at work acting like a black person she said which that part i didn't really understand because how do you what, what is acting like a black person? right like what is acting black what is that like so I, I i i i just act like i didn't see that part i was offended but i was like you know what, I'm acting like, ghetto acting hood like what is acting ratchet i like, wanted her to elaborate and i was i had a, i just was drained so i didn't even go there because y'all just don't i see her as intent you know but it's like what I would never be like, oh my gosh, she's acting Mexican. Right. What does that mean? Like, and what, ooh, what is acting Mexican? I, I, I'm, whatever. You know? Because what does that mean? Comment like, down below. How do you act? Comment down below. What does that mean? What is acting Mexican? What is acting, acting black? black? What is acting white? Please, because I really hate when people say I'm acting. Oh my god, you're acting so white. Because I'm proper and I speak. And who said proper is white? Right. White, not is, white ain't always right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> okay, so that's the end of this video. Yeah, we hope y'all learn something from this. Don't be out here just spreading hate. Willy nilly ignorance. saying, Nick, if you are not this color, <laughs> don't say this color, nigga. Don't say nigga. And you can, but prepare for the consequences. If somebody don't cuts say you it out, in my presence, baby. If somebody cuts you out, if somebody is ready to square up, if somebody is ready to. <laughs> You know why for y'all right to say why is uh gonna in jail? Why is uh what's his yeah. name in jail for what? Pull up with the stick, don't all right. I wouldn't not if me. You wanna say it that bad, go ahead. Go, do it at your own risk. Right. And you let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes you do. But thank you guys so much for watching. This was a very fun video and long awaited. This happened in like January. Yeah. Like a long time ago. Yeah. But I needed this, the, but it's like it, everything boiled back up. I, I'm at all over again. But that's okay. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment, video ideas, please. And like always, my social media will be in the description box down below. Don't forget to follow and follow Trini. Her Instagram will be right here. Follow her. 